over COVID, there was a week that I tried to wake up at five o'clock every single day and I did it, but I genuinely don't know how people do this every single day. If I had gotten to bed earlier, maybe it wouldn't be so bad because I've been waking up at like 6.15, 6.30, a, quite a lot lately. So this really shouldn't be too different, but <laughs> my ultra human ring said that I did not have a good sleep last night. It's very upset with me. already chirping i'm like relax people like i want to know their sleep schedule you know it's too early when coco won't even get out of bed usually when i wake up she follows me everywhere like she'll come to the bathroom with me when i do my skincare she'll go downstairs to make coffee like it doesn't matter but this morning she's like screw you i'm staying in bed and she's looking at me like i'm crazy oh we gotta leave the house in 20 minutes which should be plenty of time because everything's ready to go. I double checked my bags last night. I just gotta put like the last few things away that I used this morning and we should be good to go. It's time. I definitely feel more awake than when I woke up about 45 minutes ago. So. Bags are good to go. I put all my toiletries inside. My dad has already brought them downstairs and put them in the car. I've got my little airport outfit on and it's time to head to the airport. Kind of crazy how many times we've done this now. We should head to the airport now because I do not want to be late. That is like the worst day. That is like the worst way to start this travel day. And we are off again. See you in seven months. in this lounge and it's usually packed but today there's one other person here oh no this is not good news but they've got drip coffee at least the lounge in the buffalo airport is so nice i really like it food is always good and usually i have a really nice coffee here they were also out of almond milk so i just got soy which is fine and I've also gotten a little something to eat because apparently the Chicago Midway Airport does not have a lounge. So I'm gonna have to figure out something to eat during my layover. But this airport is just like my favorite airport because it's small and it goes so fast. Like I dropped my bags, no problem. Both of them were underweight. Dropped the bags, no problem. There was no weight there. I just printed the tags and then security took all of two minutes and the people that were working this morning were so friendly everyone was very very nice so it's a good start to the day and i'm feeling optimistic about this travel day if, if you know me you know i usually don't have very good luck when it comes to traveling for a contract so fingers crossed here that everything goes well and if all is planned i will land at two o'clock This is gonna be a full flight. Look at this madness. I think I should have had two coffees. 
Yesterday when I was checking in for the flight, I was confused because it didn't give me a seat number. After a little bit of research, I learned that Southwest does it differently. So you board either group A, B, or C, and then you get to pick your seat when you get on the plane. So I am group C, so chances are I'm gonna be in a middle seat, but we'll, we'll push our luck and see. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of this flight crew and Southwest Airlines, welcome to Chicago. We have landed in Chicago. Flight was super smooth, really easy, and First things first, we gotta get a coffee. And there's a Dunkin' like right by my gate, so we're gonna get in line. Hi. Hi. Can I please do a medium uh, French vanilla iced coffee with oat milk? Thank you. Okay, so I'm at the Chicago Midway Airport which I don't think that I've ever been in before. There isn't a lounge here, which is a bit of a disappointment. So obviously I can't just go there, have something to eat, but I got some Dunkin' and it's the perfect ratio. So I found a place to sit. I'm gonna do some work here. I have three hours until my flight, a good amount of time to get a lot of editing done because starting tomorrow, we have rehearsals for the first day and from there on out, it's gonna be very busy. So the more I can get done ahead of time, the better. Here's my little setup. This coffee literally cost me $7, but it's an airport, so what do you expect? And it tastes good, so all that that's all that matters. It is 10.35. I've been sitting here the entire time editing. I'm working on editing my pack with me video. I'm really hoping to finish this either before the flight or just finish it off on the flight, but I do need to find an outlet because there's no outlets around. And I'm using this mini mic because it is very noisy in this airport. There's music playing, babies screaming, not screaming, crying, exhibit A, and just a lot of people here. So hopefully the audio is okay. I apologize if not. Anyways, I've got about an hour-ish, just over an hour until my flight takes off. We take off at 11.55 and we're going to be boarding at 11.25. So I think I'm going to head over to the gate soon just to find a spot. Maybe there'll be an outlet over there. And this flight's going to be about four hours. But if we're on time, we should land around 2 o'clock West Coast time. I am so excited though. I'm so excited to be in California. I've only ever been to California when I was baby, so I don't really count that. So this will be my first time actually experiencing it and remembering it, and it's gonna be good. And I'm really excited to meet the cast as well. We have a group chat going now, so it's gonna be good. Airports are the funniest place because it doesn't matter what time of day it is, you'll see people with like a burger and it's nine in the morning or you'll see them with beer or a glass of wine. Like there is no such thing as time in an airport. And I just find it hilarious. Like it could be either super early in the morning, late at night, like it does not make a difference. I don't mind this airport though. The only downside is that they don't have a lounge, but I've been pretty comfortable right here and that's really all you need. Comfort, coffee, and a place to do some work. And actually, I don't have to walk very far because the gate that we arrived to when we got here is right next to the gate that I'm headed to now for my next flight. We've got about an hour left of our flight. The flight is going by super quick and I got so lucky again with the seat arrangement. I'm in row six and I was able to snag a window seat so I'm super happy about that. And I've just been working on some editing. There's a power cord so that's good. I'm able to charge my laptop while I'm editing which is quite rare for a flight. So yeah, that's what we're up to. We got an hour left and I'm so excited to arrive to California. We're in 
California. I'm so excited. Flight was so smooth. I could not believe it. And I'm still just so happy about my seat arrangements. Like, I can't believe how lucky that was. Second flight, I figured I would get a better seat. But the first flight, I thought for sure I would be in a middle seat at the Once back again, of the ship. Sure at the ship, oh my god. Back, back of the plane. This is a small airport. It seems like a similar size to Buffalo Airport, which is kind of nice. So I've just walked to baggage claim, and I'm waiting for the bags to come out. But I was one of the first people off the plane, so I might be waiting a little while. But I'm here. I'm so happy. No way my bag is the first one out. That has literally never happened to me. thinking Jordan what the heck why are you in a car well honestly I'm wondering the same thing but I got asked to be the one of the cast drivers for rehearsals and I said yes so I'm gonna be the carpool driver for half of the cast so <laughs> I've just picked up the rental car which is a van it seats seven people I need to figure out the AC it's so hot okay that's better AC's on I need to adjust the seat. I need this to go as high as possible. All right, well, I figured out the seat, so that's step one. Now, I need to plug in the address to the hotel and make my way there. This is crazy. It's been a long day. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast at seven this morning, and it's currently almost three o'clock this time. So, so really it's like 6 p.m. time at home. So I'm, I'm starving, but one thing at a time. Okay, time to get these bad boys out. Wow, this is really nice. Oh my goodness, look at this room. This is huge, and we've got a kitchen. Oh, that's incredible. We got a fridge, dishwasher, wow. Let me turn some lights on. It has been a day and a half, let me just tell you. It's been a long day. I cannot believe I'm here. I'm so excited. I need to move my luggages out of the way. So I feel like I'm just gonna tuck them over here. I feel absolutely disgusting from my travel day. I cannot wait to get in the shower and just wash off the airport yuckies like i can't even tell you how good that sounds right now but i'm so excited to be here the travel day was probably one of my smoothest travel days i think i've ever had which is crazy because i flew from buffalo all the way to the other side of the country and it's been a long day but very smooth like both flights were great luggage arrived fine nothing was delayed got the car so we're doing well and this hotel is really nice. Like it looks brand new and the room is so much bigger than I thought it would be. I am gonna have a roommate and her name is Brianna, but I think she's still traveling here. So for now it's just me, but probably in a couple hours she will arrive. Gonna give you a really quick little hotel tour. So this is a front door. The bathroom is in there. We'll look at that after. We've got a closet, some desk space. We've got a couch. It looks like it's gonna be a pullout, but we probably won't need that for anything. Nice big TV. And then these are the beds. They look so comfortable. And then our view is actually quite nice. Our room overlooks the pool, which is really nice. This is our little kitchen space. I did not expect to have any sort of kitchen area. So this is a bonus. We've got a microwave. We've got a stove top, coffee machine, dishwasher. And we've got a nice fridge so we can fit lots of stuff in here, which is gonna be great. And then obviously a sink and we've got plates, mugs, cups, everything you could need. So this is a great setup. And a refrigerator, which is fabulous. how much better I feel after that shower. 
like night and day. I didn't end up washing my hair because I figured I would just do that tonight before the first day of rehearsals tomorrow. It is disgusting and that is why I put a hat on but I figured I would just do a body shower now and then this evening I can wash the hair, get all cozy in my pajamas and probably have an early night because tomorrow's gonna be the first day and it's gonna be a super long day. So I've just thrown on this little outfit. I wanna run to the store and get some groceries for rehearsals. So we're gonna be packing our lunches for rehearsals since we're gonna be there all day from like 9 or 10 in the morning until 5 at night. So I have to get a lot of snacks that will keep me fueled and filled throughout the day. I'm gonna get like basic stuff. They have breakfast at the hotel, which is great. So I don't have to get like eggs or anything for breakfast, but I wanna get like stuff for a salad, maybe chicken breast, um, avocados, some fruits, oatmeal, like just basic stuff. And I think I'm gonna meet up with my friend Gleb because he's already been here for like two days. He transferred from another ship. So we'll probably go together. There's a plaza, like probably a 10 minute walk from the hotel, which is fabulous. So there's like everything you could possibly need in that plaza, including a Target. And you guys know I love a Target. <laughs> I don't really need to buy any toiletries or anything like that. Cause obviously I did that haul before I came here, but groceries and snacky stuff, I do need to get. a tall iced chai latte with oat milk because I wanted a little beverage but I probably shouldn't have another coffee because it's like five o'clock. I want bananas, baby carrots for sure, blueberries. Definitely want avocado. All the avocados are like hard. Yeah? They feel really hard. Why I didn't post it. We got quite a haul going on in here. Did you get your rice? <laughs> Once again, Glove is carrying my things. Like good old times. <laughs> my haul cost me. I'm googling. <laughs> when should you take it? Both. Eighty-nine dollars. Eighty-nine for all. This isn't bad. Plus water. <laughs> Go for it. He's a little sick, so. Oh, oh I've taken worse things than this. Okay. Okay. Hello. Made it back from Target. I want to give you a little haul of everything I got. First things first, I got a case of water, which is just right there. I'm going to throw that into the fridge. And then... We've got three bags to go through. In total, I spent $89, which isn't too bad. This should last me for a while. I don't really know the next time I'm have to, gonna have to go, but I got like all the essentials and we'll figure it out. First things first, I got some almond milk. Why does it feel like it's leaking? This is in no order. They're all just kind of thrown into the bags. I've got some lightly roasted almonds, baby carrots, some hummus to go along with the carrots. I got black beans and chickpeas, some bell peppers. I got a bunch of bananas. Always a good little snack to have throughout the day. I'm gonna make salads either for lunch or dinner. So I've got some lettuce, some olive oil, avocados, some cherry tomatoes. It's like an assortment of different colors. I got some blueberries. I was surprised. These were only like 260. Not too bad. And then I got chicken breast. Also got some PB2. Really want to make protein oatmeal. So I've got some dry oats. These are quick oats. These little snack packs. My mom always buys these and they're actually so good. So it was $3 for three packs. So I thought it's not too bad of a deal. Nice little snack for rehearsals. Got some sponges, a Tupperware container for my salads for when I have to bring my lunch to rehearsals. And then I got, and then I got two packets of the instant whole grain brown rice. And also I'm trying one of the brown rice, lentils and quinoa blend. Thought this might be good for my little Mediterranean bowls I like to make. 
um because i didn't just have those boxes of couscous and then last but not least i got these kind protein bars so I just kind of got a mix, mix of things. I want to make sure I have a good amount of healthy options, but also things that are convenient to eat quickly in between ice cuts and stuff like that. So that's my Target haul. We'll see how long this lasts me. On our way back from Target, we decided to Uber back because the bags were really heavy and the case of water was just too big to walk all the way back with. So we took an Uber and when we got back to the hotel, we've just met another person that's in the cast. So he's only here for like 10 days, he just said. But anyways, seems really nice. I think the three of us are gonna go grab something to eat for dinner and then I'm probably gonna just chill in the room for the rest of the night because I have had such a long day. I'm very tired and tomorrow's going to be a long day. So I wanna be well rested for the first day of rehearsals. Today's been a great day so far. I'm so happy I'm here. So grateful that my travel was smooth and I'm excited to meet my roommate. She's still not here but I have a feeling when I get back from dinner, she'll have arrived, so. Fridge is sorted and we are good. like exactly what I needed and they didn't give me too big of a portion which is perfect because I wasn't super hungry but I didn't want to eat late because I am very tired and now we're back at the hotel I'm going to wash my hair get my comfies on and get into bed It's been a very long day. I have been awake for 20 hours now, longer than I should have been. It's been a really long day. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited to start rehearsals tomorrow, so I wanna get a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's gonna be a very exciting day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already because I am gonna be posting daily updates there. And with that, I'll see you guys in my next one.